to believe shit that don't make no sense. They don't want us to smoke weed because it's a drug. No, it's not. It's just a plant. It just grow like that. And if you should so happen to set it on fire, there are some effects. But that's not the same as drugs. Drugs, you got to do shit to it chemically. You got to add baking soda, water, stir it up. I don't know the recipe, I'm just saying. It's some shit you got to do to it. They don't want us to smoke weed. I know some of y'all don't smoke weed because you got a good job. And by all means, make your paper boo-boo. But if you ain't got no job, and you not smoking weed, I don't know what the fuck you are doing with your life. I really don't. There is a chemical in weed that's called fuck it. And if you can just get that in your system, it can change your life. Some of y'all be crying about bills you can't pay. Got your kids lying. My daddy say he ain't home. Some of y'all just be in the living room, just I don't know what I'm gonna do about this light bill. They want the whole thing, they don't want a piece of it, a deposit. Just hit the blunt one time and see if it don't change your perception of what's important in your life. You just, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this light bill. I just, <laughs> fuck them goddamn lights. I got 12 candles, I've been waiting to burn them bitches up. Cause it don't make no sense for them to tell us that should be illegal. Aspirin is perfectly legal. But if you take 13 of them motherfuckers, it'll be your last headache. As long as you've been living, you ain't never heard of nobody overdose on marijuana. You might have thought that nigga was dead. He ain't dead. He gonna wake up in 30 minutes, hungry enough to eat up everything in your house. That's the side effects. Hungry, happy, sleepy, that's it. I don't know. What I don't know is why they ain't made weed into a pill. They can clone sheep. They can make a baby without the mama. Remember the cell phone? When that motherfucker came out, was it not this goddamn big? Came in a suitcase with a shoulder strap. Now the cell phone is so small that by next year, it's just gonna be a chip on a nigga's tongue. You just gonna be smoking a cigarette. Just... Hello? No, nigga, I got you on the tongue phone. Hold on, I got another call. Hello? Live in Los Angeles now, and I was hanging out with Snoop Dogg. Now, this nigga is a professional weed smoker. There is not an amateur bone in this nigga's body. I was not prepared. We was doing the Tracy Morgan show. He did an episode. The nigga said, Cap, when we take a break, we gonna hit some weed. Now, I took out of that conversation two words. Hit some weed. Now, I can do that. I know the rules and regulations. I know I get the blunt. Puff, puff. I see you are aware of the regulations as well. So I'm feeling like everything's going to be okay. I'm going to smoke enough weed to be sociable. Go back to my room and learn my lines. Now, I need to explain to you that it's in this room only me, Snoop, and his two partners. We are in a circle. I watch him roll one and light it and put it in rotation. <laughs> and it starts to go in rotation. After about four and three quarter minutes, I start noticing that I am higher than I have ever been my entire life. I mean, I am high, high. Like I'm up on the world looking down at the planets and stars, just satellites in my mama house where I grew up in Avondale. Just all of it, I can see it. And I'm thinking, how in the hell could I be this high of one blunt? I look up and notice these niggas have lit six blunts and they are all in rotation at the same time. We look like an Olympic track meet in that bitch. Just 